Ladies and gentlemen, the years pass by, sneak by really, sometimes without us noticing. We're often so caught up in our own individual lives that before we realise it, our children have grown up and the world has changed. As dads, we get used to the idea we are the man who provides love, comfort, protection and advice for our children, especially to our girls. But today, it's time to hand that on to another man, to provide her with that love and protection. But Saf, just let you know, your dad is always around here, and he's always there for you, whatever happens. In Dylan, though, I'm confident that I'm handing over the reins to someone who will do a great job. We always have Saf's best interests at heart, and will love her dearly, like Jill and I have done all these years. No dad can ask for any more than that. Part of my role, I've got a few people to thank. So I'm going to start on behalf of my wife and I. <laughs> Thanks everybody for coming uh, to celebrate this amazing occasion. I want to start with thanking Pete and Jill for everything that you've done behind the scenes. Because even though you said you haven't done much, but you have, you've always been there at the end of the phone and you allowed me to ask for your permission for your daughter's hand, which is now my wife. <laughs> so thank you both for that. Um, so my world, apart from my staff, is my boys. And I think you'll agree. Oh, thank you, boys. I love you to bits. And I know we sort of have our disagreements here and there. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we know we love each other. I know you've always been here for me. Yeah. Dylan, I love you. You're my best friend. Today I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage you and inspire you, to laugh with you and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple and when it is an effort. I promise to cherish you and to always hold you in the highest regard. These things I give to you today and all the days of my life. Sarah, I love you. You are my best friend today, I give you myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage you and inspire you to laugh with you. And to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and in bad. When life seems easy and when it seems hard. When our love is simple and when it is an effort. I promise to cherish you and to always hold you in the highest of regard. These things I give to you today at all days. Dylan and Sarah, you have both made the declarations required by law in the presence of your witnesses, your family and your friends. So may this day form a milestone in your lives to look back upon with love and happiness. And may the feelings of love that you have for one another deepen and grow even stronger throughout the years to come. So now it gives me great pleasure to announce you are now husband and wife. don't know Saf, Saf is pretty unique as a person I think, um, she's kind, caring, beautiful, um, you are just my back, my rock basically, um, 
it's hard to say how you feel sometimes because words probably doesn't give you justice of the type of person that you are, to be fair. So, on that note, I would like to say thank you for agreeing to marry me. And thank you for everything that you do for me. So if you'd like to stand, please. And if you'd like to raise your glasses to Mrs. Davis.